Now the program says demonstrate each of the methods in the program. All right, so we have our main method. Um, let's create a system.out.println statement that's going to basically display it, right? So I'm going to create a system.out.println statement. And the first thing I want to display is our total. So I'm going to call it total with a colon and a space. I'm going to concatenate it with the total by calling the total method, right? So I'm going to call get total. While we define get total to accept a one-dimensional array, we decided that the array was array is going to accept a one-dimensional array, which means we need it. We need a one-dimensional array to pass into this get total, right? So I'm going to come up here and define it. I'm going to create a double one-dimensional array. I'm going to call it numbers. It doesn't matter that it's the same name as the parameters. These parameter names are just, okay, the scope of these parameter names numbers are within their individual methods, okay? Um, the scope of this, this is a variable, and the scope of that is within our main method, okay? So it doesn't matter they're the same names. All right, so double numbers is going to be equal to, I'm going to over here initialize it directly by using the curly braces. I'm going to initialize it with, with numbers. So I'm going to type in 3.4, we'll, we'll keep it simple, um, 3.6, I'm going to type in a, a, low, a low number, 1.2, a big number here, 4.5, and then another number of, let's say, 3.0. Okay, so these are our numbers. I'm going to pass in the numbers array to get total, which will basically display our, our numbers array. All right, let's continue forming our string. I'm going to concatenate with a new line character, backslash n. So backslash n basically will break the line into two. It will move the position from where it's at <clears throat> um, to the next line, and anything that comes after all of this, anything that comes after all of this will be displayed from that next line going. It basically moves it breaks the line into two and it continues from the next line going. All right, so total, we get the, we get the total, we display it, we, cr we break the line, and I'm going to concatenate again and just to make it look pretty over here and, and, and have it all in line. Okay, the next thing I want to display is get average. <laughs> Let's me, let me type it as well. All right, so get average. I'm going to concatenate it with the method call get average and get average over here we define it to accept also an array we have the array called numbers so I can go ahead and pass it into into it this way I'm going to concatenate again with a new line character backslash n concatenate it uh, to the next line have it all in line the next thing is going to be get um, highest. Actually, I shouldn't call it get, get average. I just call it average. I don't know why I call it get, get average because because of this. So total average. The next thing is highest. So it's been a while, so I'm a bit rusty, but going forward, I should be you know a little bit okay. Okay, so just bear with me here. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, so highest. I'm going to concatenate it with the method get highest. And we defined that method also over here. Where is it? Over here to accept a numbers array. And so I'm going to pass in our numbers array over here. Same idea, I'm going to concatenate it with a new line character. Concatenate it with the next line. I just like to. Just type, I need to type something always before I can indent it. All right, delete it. Create another string. The next one is going to be our lowest. And our lowest, I'm going to also call our get lowest method. We define our get lowest method to accept a numbers array. So I'm going to pass in our numbers array here. And I think we are done. All right, so so let me go ahead and um, compile this. Uh, let's save it in our Java folder, Programming Challenges, Chapter 7. And I'm going to call this Array Operations. Okay, let's see here. Is it frozen? All right, so Array Operations, I'm going to call it Array Operations. Well, actually, let's create a new folder. Yeah, let's create a new folder. I'm going to call it Array Operations. 
and I'm going to store it here as our array operations.java. So save. <clears throat> All right, we have some errors, so let's fix those. All right, so I think I didn't need this parenthesis over here. All right. Yeah, I didn't need it. I needed it here. So compile this. We still have an error. Let's see. Um, something is expected. So get lowest. Okay, now I need another parenthesis to close it because this is parenthesis over here is closing the opening parenthesis of the method. So I need a, I need a closing parenthesis for the opening parenthesis of the system that I have to print ln statement right, over here. All right, so let's compile this. Um, we have another error. Let's see. Illegal in initializer for double. All right, so double. All right, so over here, I didn't want to create, I'm sorry, I didn't want to create a regular um, numbers variable. I wanted to create a double array. It's giving me an error because I am over here. I've defined a variable as a double, not a double array, just a double. And if it's just a double, then I can't store an array in there. If I want to store an array in there, I need to make sure I de declare it as a double. So this is supposed to be a double array instead of just a regular numbers double. So that this way. So compile, and then now we, we fixed our errors. OK, so let's run this and see. All right, so we have some numbers. Let's just make sure that it's correct. All right, so it's taking these numbers. The first is total. All right, let's add them all up. All right, so I have a calculator here. Actually, let me just pull up a real calculator here. Although that, that would have worked too. All right, so I'll push this here and then let's have it here. Let's just do it here. Okay, so 3.4, okay, plus 3.6. We are, we are verifying this, plus 1.2 plus 4.5 and then plus 3.0 gives us 15.7 so so far so good with that now we need to calculate the uh, average and the average we take the sum which is 15.7 divided by how many elements in this array so we have one two three four five five elements in the array so 15.7 which is our total divided by five which is equal to 3.14. Over here, it, um, it over here in the calculator, it rounded it to 3.14. And over, but over here, it didn't. We can go ahead and format it, and we'll do that in a second. Um, we'll do that in a second. Um, I've done that in, pre in previous videos, but we'll do it. So highest in this in this array is 4.5. We can see over here that it's 4.5, and then the lowest is 1.2, right here. So it got it got that correct too. Now let's just go ahead and format this average. Uh, all right, so. Well, we would have to use a. Um, <coughs> we can use a system that out print f statement, or because of the way we've already done this, we we would have to use a string dot format method. I don't want to confuse you too much, um, because it would be a method in a method. Um, um, so I don't want to do that. But um, okay, let, let's let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I'm going to surround this this value over here. This string dot format. Sorry, this get average value over here. In a method string dot format, okay. So string dot format, and the string dot format method takes in two arguments. It basically takes in what you want to format. Actually, sorry, um, it takes in. I need to. I need to be sure of the of, of the arrangement of the argument. I believe it's first of all how you want it formatted and what you want to format. So the first thing is your format specifier, which is how you want it uh, um, formatted in double quotations. And then the second thing is what you want to format, which happens to be get average numbers, uh, uh, whatever is returned from the get average method once we pass in the numbers array. So let's see. We want it formatted as a float, a floating point value, so percentage float um, f, percentage f. And we want it formatted to two decimal places. So in between the percentage and the F, I'm going to specify the, the precision. So 0.2 for two decimal places. If I wanted it to format it, format it to three decimal places, I'll do 0.3. But in this case, I want it formatted to two decimal places, I'll do 0.2. All right, so as a floating point value, um, and then to, to two decimal places, make sure the precision is in between the percentage and then the F. Okay. So I believe that's how the string uh, string format method works. I, I think the order is correct. If not, we'll switch it. I think in Python is the other way around. But let's compile this and it works. All right, so let's run this and, and that worked. So it basically rounded this to two decimal places as a floating point value, 3.4, uh, 3.14. All right, so I think we're done.
okay so if you have in I know I took a while explaining the how the whoop works and all that but again it's all to make sure that it's clear if you already know please feel free to skip through it um, but if you didn't know or if you're just learning this and you found, found this helpful th that's great I'm very happy all right so if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them I know I'm behind behind on comments I know but I'm going to respond to them starting tonight there, there will be comments that are like one year old, two years old. <laughs> I don't think there will be any two year, two years old comments, but one year old comments that I'll still reply to. So if you sent me a, a, a comment that is taking a year, and you all of a sudden see a reply, don't be surprised. I'll explain why. I want to, I want to reply anyway, just, just because it's something I've always wanted to do. And so also when other people come to the channel, they can see these, these replies um, if, if the questions have, haven't already been answered by other people. Also, please feel free to answer other, other, um, other users' comments. Uh, it kind of helps all of, all of us so we can learn. All right, but I'll, I'll reply to all, um, all the comments. If you have any questions, please post them. Um, again, sorry for the delay. I'm back now and we'll finish these um, these programs plus other other more things in the future I'll be adding more programming languages and you know other other exciting stuff uh, this is very exciting for me again so thank you all for watching um, take care of yourselves um, have a good night have a good have a good day wherever you are have a, have a sound sleep have a nice day and it's good to be back uh, and I'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye